Mike's Daily Podcast. Episode 469. It's Monday, February 18th, 2013, 8 p.m. Pacific Time. Internet talk radio for your imagination. Mike Matthews broadcasting from the last place on earth, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, California. Today we hear from Madame Rutabaga, Valentina Bison Bentley. Plus, we bring you the segment Mike's Scavenger Hunt, where I give you hints about an interesting one of a kind place that you should try to find, and you'll see why. Mike's Daily Podcast. And if you get confused between Office Max and Office Depot. They're going to be merging soon, so you won't be that confused guy. Mike's Daily Podcast. They're in talks to merge because they're taking on rivals like Staples and Amazon.com. Seriously, do those guys even sell office furniture? They look like they've been sitting there since the dawn of time. Staples said this past summer it was reducing the square footage of its North American stores by 15%. Meanwhile, Russians are wading into the snow to find something decent. From that meteorite that exploded over them. The biggest one in 100 years. Mike's Daily Podcast. Meanwhile, a recent study says that hip replacements are slightly more likely to fail in women than men. Though it's unclear. Mike's. It's not known. Daily. Which models of hip implants. Podcast. Perform best in women. Yeah. Even though women make up the majority of the more than 400,000 Americans who have full or partial hip replacements each year to ease the pain and loss of mobility caused by arthritis or injury. Those are words anyone would understand. Look who just walked in. Hey, yo, Megan Rasmus, this is my dog. Meteorite falling to the earth, the big And I have arthritis. And You do? You have arthritis or injuries? Oh, is that what you were saying? I don't know. Yeah. So people get hip replacements. And implants because of arthritis or the injuries you get when you live a long time. and Or maybe not so long. Maybe you get it from, you know, all that football you play, Madam Rutabaga. I will take you down. I am not afraid of anyone. Oh, my God. Look at that thing. That's a blended mocha. Get it away from me. Eek. You're afraid of the blended mocha tackling you? Get it away. Ooh. All right, I will. You sound exasperated. Look who else just walked in. Oh, my case is Valentino, the backing it. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Hey, guys, what do you think about this whole thing about Office Max and Office Depot merging? I think it's really cool because they both have the word office in their names. Yeah, why don't they come up with the word, like, why don't they just, instead of calling it, you know, why don't they just do uh, a something... Neither one of you are paying attention to what I'm saying. Do you know that? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm paying attention. I am too. No, you're not. You're both on your iPhones and you're talking to someone. And you're typing away. You're not paying attention to me at all. Do you know that? All right. You, you have my undivided attention. Valentino, give Bison Bentley your undivided attention. Yeah, I am giving him my undivided attention day. No, you're not. You're looking down. At your smartphone, you're not paying attention to him at all. Yes, I am. No, look up. Put down the... Uh, let me... Hold on. Let me just grab this and hold it really hard. Ha <laughs> ha! Ouch! I slightly electrocuted myself. You just destroyed my phone day. Yes, because you need to pay attention to your friend, your best friend in the whole world, Bison Bentley, who pays attention to what you say every day. So you should pay attention to what he has to say. Bison Bentley, go ahead. Thanks, Mike. I really appreciate that. Do you know that? Yeah, so go ahead and say what you're going to say. Yeah, uh, instead of, uh, I think they should, um, Max Depot. Do you know that? You think that's what the name should be when they combine the two? Yeah, Max Depot. Do you know that? You destroyed my iPhone for that? That and many other reasons. Well, if you have an opinion about the meteorite that fell to Russia and people trying to sell those pieces, that originally we were told there weren't going to be any pieces because it supposedly had burned up completely in the atmosphere, but NASA was wrong about that initial assessment. Or if you have a thing about uh, which you prefer, either Office Depot Max, Office Max Depot, or just Max Depot. I know a guy named Max Depot. He's a d***. Oh, 
always on his cell phone, never takes it off his ear or is not typing. The other day, if I may digress for a moment. My good master, I wish you wouldn't. I was in Mill Valley. I think I mentioned this. I took uh, the ferry in there. That's on all the previous podcast. I won't rehash it. Uh, I took a trip to Mill Valley and I'm sitting there at a coffee place. And this guy is with his two kids. He spends about 20 minutes at the coffee place the entire time he's on his cell phone. So what you might you might say, it was amazing watching this guy. He was getting the kids drinks and food. And then the kids were like running off. He was grabbing them. He never once took the phone off of his ear. He was holding it with his right hand plastered to his ear the whole time walking around, walking around. Dude, get a Bluetooth for crying out loud. Jeez. Don't you think, Valentino? Valentino, put down my iPhone. Sorry about that, Mike. That's just a bad habit I have. These freaking smartphones, they take up all my attention. Do you know that? They. Hey, you used my catchphrase. Do you know that? I'm sorry about that, Bison, and I'm sorry about not giving you my undivided attention. They. That's okay. I know that sometimes you are a d*** just like Max Depot. Damn that Max Depot. Or if you have a comment about the hip replacements failing in women. Apparently, the failure of metal on metal hips was almost twice as high for women than in men. Bizarre. The once popular models were promoted by manufacturers as being more durable than standard plastic or ceramic joints. But several high-profile recalls have led to a decrease in their use in recent years. So keep that in mind when you're getting that hip replacement. Thank you for that advice, Michael Marshall. Ooh. What? Just looking at you puts my hips out of joint. Uh, don't know how to respond. We read your comments on the section emails for me email. Email me, Podcast at gmail.com. Also email me there if you'd like to be a guest on the show or if you'd like to sponsor the show. Podcast at gmail.com. Also, we have a website, mikesdailypodcast.com, a fine, fine website that you can go to to listen to this show. We have several players, podcast, Mike's Daily Podcast players that you can click on to listen to this show through the website or you can go to the link that we have there to iTunes and you can subscribe to the show in iTunes and also rank the show and uh, comment on the show in iTunes. If you do that, more people find out about us and we smile despite the pain that we're having with our hip replacements failing on us. Very painful. Sorry, madam. Also, there is the Facebook page that you can go to and you can like us there if you care to. We have a link to that as well as a link to where you can find us in Twitter, Yelp, and YouTube, mikesdailypodcast.com. Also, the internet radio stations that are carrying us at knjoradio.com as well as xrqk.com slash Los Angeles. All those links at mikesdailypodcast.com. Oh, it's a blog and the podcast picture. Oh, yeah, those things, too. You can find mikesdailypodcast.com. We. Mike Scavenger Hunt. Well, when your hip replacement's not failing you, you can try to find this interesting place. On Mike Scavenger Hunt, I tell you about interesting places that I have been to. And then you must find them. But I don't give you all of the details directly. I do it by actually calling the place. And perhaps you can extract facts about this place. Now, I just want to tell you, though, that I went to this place many, many times because when I lived in the Ventura County area in Southern California, my wife and I would come up to the Bay Area because my wife's family is in the Bay Area. We'd come up and see them and then see all the sites, San Francisco, Oakland, Berkeley, etc. And while we were in the Bay Area... I would go to this place and check out the amazing selection of music. And I bought so many CDs, used CDs, all of them used from this place. I'm going to call them now. Ratchet and San Lorenzo. Hi, how late are you guys open? Nine o'clock. Okay, and do you guys have cassettes? Uh, is that a show or a movie? No, uh, like, do you sell audio cassettes? 
Oh, audio cassettes. We do have a, a selection, a small selection of them, yeah. Okay, I didn't know if anyone was still buying those. Yeah, we, we do. And VHS? Yeah, we have a whole room in the back full of VHS. And and how much are those going for these days? Uh, 50 cents a piece. How much? 50 cents a piece. 50 cents, okay. And yeah. And then, this is a crazy question, but do you know who drew the guitar sperm on your website? There's like a... a... Yeah, I'm not sure. I know that it was done a very long time ago, so I'm not sure who did it. But maybe if you email someone on there, they'll let you know. Okay, that is a yeah. funny picture. I know. And then, is this the only Rasputin? No, there, we have, there's like ten of them. Ten of them? Are they all yeah. only... In the, uh, Northern California, or... Yeah, yeah, they're all Northern, they're Bay Area in Northern California. And do you know which one's the oldest? Uh, Berkeley. Oh, okay. The one there, it's on, um... Telegraph in Berkeley. Telegraph, okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Is it is it busy there on a President's Day night? Yeah, very busy. Okay, well, I'll let you go. Okay, man, have a good one. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Aren't they nice? So nice. I recently went into this place and I I spent about oh my gosh I can spend so much time in this place looking at CDs the problem is now I have so many CDs that I end up buying ones that I already have and then I have to return it and they have a pretty good return policy and then you know trying to find the ones that I don't have and it goes on and on so I try to avoid this place now but it is one of the last places to find music, an actual record store, one of the last ones. And in the Bay Area, people are really fortunate because there's this place, there's Amoeba Music, and there's a couple other like little record stores. There's actually, and I've called this place before on the Mike Scavenger Hunt on Mike's Daily Podcast in a previous episode. In Berkeley, there was this place that only sells classical music, and they have a little cafe. It's right next to UC Berkeley, and it's a fantastic place. So there you go. Mike Scavenger Hunt, try and find that place. I'm not going to say their name because they didn't pay for advertising. So there. There's sort of a... They got exposure on my show, but not really. God, I'm half ass. As we go outside, the last place on earth where we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley, California. And here's today's podcast picture. And this place actually did something really cool. The uh, When you buy something, they actually give you bags, which is amazing. In the Bay Area, they have pretty much outlawed bags. When you buy something, grocery bags, you're not allowed to have them anymore, as I've mentioned in previous podcasts. But they do, they're allowed to because I guess they don't sell food. They sell objects and items. And so this bag that they put your merchandise in shows a graveyard. And it is a tribute to past record stores. And they have actually acquired the logos of these past record stores that no longer exist. The Tower Records, the Sam Goodies, etc. The Warehouse and in other local ones um, that were specific to the Bay Area. It is, it is really an awesome bag. I, it's really cool that they did that. Memory lane for you music files. The picture is actually not anywhere from California. It is, in fact, from Alabama, Birmingham, to be precise. And my wife and I, we stayed the night in Birmingham one time when we were living in Huntsville, Alabama. It's about an hour and a half drive south of Huntsville and Birmingham very very historic city uh, there are some things to see some interesting historical landmarks and this is a historical restaurant it is a breakfast place and I have forgotten the name it's like the broken egg or the yolk or something to that effect and I was drinking a coffee and doing my one eyebrow raise Vulcan look and that's the picture oh my gosh you gotta see it now mikesdailypodcast.com and you can check out the crazy restaurant uniforms the employees were wearing and the extreme use of yellow that they had in this restaurant. My master, I wonder if yolks are good for your hips. The more yolks you eat, the stronger your hips get? Yes, I hope so because I can't stand egg whites. Ooh. So exasperated. 
Uh, Bison Bentley and Valentino, did you guys work out your problems regarding the slow head down self?